Welcome back to the Joe Miller Show, KOAN Hot Talk, 1080 AM, 95.1 FM. This show is made possible by the McPherson Tax Defense Group, 1-800-BEAT-IRS, beatirs.com, B-E-A-T-I-R-S, serving Alaskans the nation since 1978, addressing all your tax defense needs. Now, how many of you listening to this program think that the design of this global police force is to rein in radical Islam? I wouldn't be surprised if Loretta Lynch doesn't put a radical Islamist in charge of her SCN, Strong Cities Network. Again, stated objective, if you're going to violate the law, you might as well do it in a way that makes people feel good. The objective is to strengthen community resilience against violent extremism. Now, Lynch and others are arguing that uh, American cities are vital partners in international efforts, so we've got to engage doesn't matter whether Congress approves it or not. doesn't matter whether it's done through treaty or not. She thinks that U.S. cities can build social cohesion and resilience to violent extremism. So there's kind of a dual approach here. International, well, it's done through an international police force, but it's designed to bind the community together in agreement that certain things are extremism. Now, given what we've seen from presidential administrations, some of which even wear the Republican label, over the last 30 years. Who do you think is going to be labeled an extremist? You know, there have been lots of violent extremist lists that come out there, right? And sometimes, at least according to the Washington Insider Beltway crowd, those extremists could even be people that believe in limited government or somebody that actually says the Constitution should mean what the founders intended, right? Or maybe maybe it's those radical Christians, you know, those religious fundamentalists. Maybe they're the extremists. Well, you, you kind of scratch your head and ask, why would the federal government think that, you know, patriotic Americans are extremists? Well, why are veterans under the gun all the time? They want to take their guns. They've got lists assembled by the Veterans Administration. You've got efforts to limit not just gun rights, but also to survey or put them under surveillance because they are coming back from combat and they have patriotic views, and so therefore they're extreme. Well, the New York Times helps it out. We put out a story a few months ago. You can do a search for it. Just use the word extremists up in the upper right-hand search box, restoringliberty.us. They claim that the main terrorist threat to the United States is not from radical Islam, but from right-wing extremists. So this international global police force, designed to protect our cities against extremism, are also designed to build social cohesion. In other words, a set mind thought process. They want uniformity and perspective as to who is actually the extremist. I don't know how they get there. I don't know how the New York Times can actually think that it's a rational, independent, unbiased mouthpiece for the news when in the mix of calling right-wing extremists being the main threat as opposed to radical Islam, you got the Boston Marathon bombing, you know, you've got the Pamela Geller attack, you've got other Muslim terrorists that have been engaged in shooting up recruiting stations. Just crazy. Now, that, that New York Times article from several months ago uh you know, just truth be told, the professors, yeah, there there you go. Now you're starting to understand. The professors who wrote it, they say radicalization from the Middle East is indeed a concern, but not as dangerous as radicalization among right-wing groups in America. And gay, they, they claim to have drawn their conclusions from a survey of 382 law enforcement agencies and follow-up interviews from 19 agents across the country. But see, this is the concern here. You know, they they couch this stuff in all these wonderful terms, right? That, hey, we're making our communities safe. We're creating social cohesiveness. What's the federal government involved in that anyway? Why? That their constitutional duty to create social cohesiveness with respect to who's an extremist and who's not? Well, they want all their brown shirts out there to report so that they've got all the eyes they need to root out those violent right-wing extremists. It's interesting because lots of different groups worldwide are involved in this. Even though its goal appears to combat violent extremism, that's not what's going to go down. 
Anyway, stay with us. If you've got any insights on it, give us a call, 569-1080. Be right back. 